from Next Beauty. Everyone. And we decided to do a non-beauty favourites because neither of us really do these that much, do we? I've never done one before. Oh, okay. So. I think I've done them in the past, but I wanted to do one more recently, so. I love good. watching them. Yeah, so interesting. We can have a good range here with two mm. people, so. Let's just get going, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do my first one, which is actually on my phone. And I might be a bit behind times here, but I've gotten really into Spotify. I didn't really use it for, like, sort of playlists and things, but I've got into kind of downloading albums on my phone, and then you can obviously just listen to it on your laptop or phone and things like that. And I'm really rubbish with downloading music, so... Yeah, I'm really bad. It's I'm so nice, behind. Yeah, and it's just like nice to have a collection, and you can get all the new music. And I've really been enjoying like Lord's album and Lily Allen's new album, mm. so it's really nice. But like, I've only got the free trial—not the trial, but the free one. So you can't like use it out and about, but you can use it as I said on your laptop or your phone or something like that. So I think I'm gonna get that actually because I'm like I'm literally listening to stuff that's like three years old because I, I haven't know. downloaded things in time. I know, but it's. Good. So I'm going to go in with, I don't know which one to pick first, go with what's in my lap and this is a candle and I really really love candles all year round and I don't think you should stop burning just because it's now warmer. Um, so I've got a bit of a more summery candle which is the Yankee Candle in Sun and Sand. Mm -hmm. um, I usually go for candles that smell of food like okay, cookie yeah. or cupcake and so actually it's, this is a bit more of a grown up choice for me. Got this for Easter, if I can get the lid off. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's just quite, um, mm. I don't know, like, therapeutic, I think. It just makes, it feels kind of fresh and calming. So, yeah, yeah I'm really enjoying burning that one. I don't, I don't think that sun and sand springs to mind when I smell that. No. Maybe a little bit. But it is nice. Yeah. Okay, and the next one I've got is actually a clothing item. It's kind of like a collection. So, it's like... This dress is actually from Misguided and I have been wearing this a lot lately and it's a swing dress, sort of blue kind of flowery dress. And then when I got this I realised I kind of wanted another one. So um, Misguided are obviously like doing a lot of these and this is like another floral one. And they're long sleeved, jersey material and I just really like they're them. They're really nice and they look great in real life, like I'm oh, about for that. Nice. And they suit you really, really well. But I just think they're good for summer. I mean... It's probably quite a warm thing with the long arms, but maybe for springtime now. But with boots or like tights or sandals, in British or... summer, like yeah, long definitely. sleeve is probably a good option. Also, these are like 14 15 pounds, so that's I really think, good. Yeah, really mm. good price, and I just think they're really, really pretty. So I like those. I'm gonna go with a fashion favorite as well, and it is these pair of shoes. Um, these are Kurt Geiger's, and I recently got these from Westfield, and they're just gorgeous I don't really have many I don't never had like a really expensive pair of shoes ever and I really wanted some for like spring and summer I can wear around the office and to weddings I don't even go into a wedding but I feel like if I was going I <laughs> no, would wear these and um, and they're, they're comfortable I wore these to work yesterday and they are comfortable enough and I wore them around London and stuff and yeah I just think they're gorgeous and I love the kind of statement element of them so you can just have any outfit with these um, I just love them they so, are really really nice yeah they're my new babies I have actually got another fashion item that I wanted to mention, but I don't have them with me because I'm at Megan's and I stupidly forgot. They're actually in my new Clark's boots, and what I'll do is I'll like put in another piece of video here so you can see what they look like. But they're like low heel sort of western style boot, and I was after something like them. They're kind of like tan kind of colour, mm, and um, they look really nice. I really like them. They were on offer as they were like in sale for like forty something pounds, so I thought they were probably well worth it. And they're kind of like my summery boots, so I can wear them with dresses mm. or, yeah, like with tights. So they're quite versatile, so I really like those. I need a summer boot. Yeah, mm. it's nice. But next I have this watch. And this is actually general just rose gold jewellery. That is what I've been loving. This is a Michael Kors, and I got this for Christmas, and it basically hasn't left my wrist until today, basically, because I'm wearing a big necklace, so I thought I wouldn't wear it today. Um, I can't remember which model this is. But yeah, it's beautiful and I love wearing this. I've got like some rose gold midi rings and a rose gold kind of bobble necklace <laughs> from uh, Accessorize. So yeah, I've just been loving all of those together. This is like a super statementy, chunky watch that I think kind of toughens up my usual girly outfit. It's really so nice. It's quite good. My next one is actually something else on my phone and it was... It's actually like a photography app and it's called Afterlight. Do you use this? No, I need I to get... I need, need to get like a... 
um, a better beta. Oh, there's no point in me like trying to show you this. I'll probably do a close up for you. I've like heard a few things about this, so I thought I would get it. And I use this to edit a lot of my like Instagram photos mm. because I do find that sometimes you don't, you can't quite get the look you're going for. No, you can't. Lighten things. You can add more saturation, and then you, there's loads of different filters and things. I tend to like just have a fiddle with the brightness and saturation, and then mm. edit then in Instagram. But I like that a lot, and it is a paid app, but it's only like 60p, so it's... I might have to get that, because I need to do something. Sometimes yeah. Valencia just doesn't cut it, no, it and that's doesn't. basically the only one that yeah. I use on Instagram. But I would definitely recommend that if you like having a bit of play with your photos. Next up, I have a book favourite, and I've literally only just started this, but um, it's about like a kiss, and it's by Sarah Manning. We, as a friendship group, love Sarah Manning, so I know like, I'm already like really, really into it. And she wrote um, Unsticky and... And you don't have to say you love me, I think that's... Yeah. Um, there's another one as well. There is another one, I can't remember. But anyway, you need to read them. Like, Unsticky, I've read like a few times now. Um, and this one, it has some of the characters in from Unsticky. Basically, it's just a girly chick flick. They live in London, they're really like, relatable, and they always have a bit of a disastrous love life, but it's always good in the end. But I would say as well, like it's not really girly, like, you know, it's a bit more raunchy as well. Like It is a bit raunchy, so, like, especially Unsticky. Yeah. A little bit raunchy. Not quite Fifty Shades, but... No. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's not actually just like too mushy. I think it's just more realistic. Yeah. Generally. Um, so I really like that and I really like her as an author. Right, now my next one is a bit random and I actually got this after you got this. Really? Which, what is which it? I don't know. Okay. And it is just a phone oh charger. Oh my god, pebble stick. Yeah. Megan had one of these when we were in London. I thought that as a lifesaver. Obviously like I'm behind times a bit here, but it's just a portable phone charger. And what I like about this is you can kind of get ones that look quite cute. You've got a yeah. pink one. Yeah. I've got this gold one and you just plug in your normal iPhone thing once it's charged and this charge your battery right back to full. I would say though you do have to kind of think about charging this. Yeah, that is the only issue. Normally yeah. I have one with me and it's not got any charge to it. So. Yeah. I went to London twice last week and it was really helpful because I knew that I'd probably run out. So I charged this and my phone and then it lasted me the train home. So really good investment. I think this was like £14. So it's a little bit more expensive but... I think it's worth it, isn't it? And they're, so. they're so worth it. And you can get more expensive ones that have like three charges on them and stuff, right. which is, I probably would invest in that because with being out and about and like using social media so much, it's like really, really handy. Yeah. yeah. This one is also charge. quite cool as well. I won't blind you, but it has, do you know, it has a like Oh a my god. Mine does not do that. Are you sure? It's got a button there. No way. No, no, mine, doesn't, mine doesn't have that thing at oh. the end. Oh, oh disco. <laughs> I do really like this and I think it's really helpful and it's just one of those geeky things that you might find quite useful. So I have very glamorous empty packets for my next favourite, which I drank yesterday and thought I'd bring today. It's the peach calomel and green tea, what is it, um, drink, yeah, drink, juice drink from M&S. Um, and I've just started, when I started travelling more, I always pick this up when I'm like on the way to the train station or just any time. It's just really, really yummy. I'm not really someone that likes fizzy drinks yeah. or anything exciting apart from like tea. So it's always a really like big deal if I find another drink that I'm actually really fussed about. And I love peach and I love green tea and stuff that just makes me feel like I'm detoxing. Yeah, it sounds horrendous to me. but Does, does it? it? Well, like, oh um, my god, it's the nicest thing ever. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh, no, it it's smells really a bit like nice. peach squash. Yeah, it's not like really gross healthy. It's uh, really, really tasty. Yeah, because like, I'm not a massive fan of green tea. Mm, so see, I, I love my green tea. I would have to try that. Yeah, and also from MS, I've been having Percy Pigs. I feel like now it's a bit warmer. I've gone off chocolate onto sweets. So, no, you know, nothing healthy. And I, I, I saved us two. Oh, have you? I was meant to um, save the whole packet. <laughs> and then I got really peckish and dipped into it. I've never had one. What? Yeah. Okay, no. you have to eat okay, one. Let's eat one. This is like... You've never had a Mercy No. Pig? Live taste test. They're the best thing. Mm. Oh, they are good. I'm a sweets girl. Like, I do prefer sweets over chocolate, mm. I think. How have you not had Mercy I food? don't know. Mm. They're like strawberry. Mm hmm. Maybe fruit juice. Mm. And you can get Penny and Percy, Percy Piggy Tails, Percy and Friends, Farm Friend, Fun Friend. Like, the, the range is so extensive. I have like heard of them, but I've just never tried them. But mm. I can tell you guys they are really good. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the last thing I've got is probably one of my favourites like lately. I have got a MacBook and I got that quite a long time ago but I didn't get a sleeve for it because I was bad. I wanted to try and find the right one because I think they're all really ugly. And I went on Etsy and decided to buy this one. That is so cute. I know. And it's like, a hat. there's a lot of these on Etsy, okay, but this one was the cheapest that I could find. And I think it's like made in Japan. And it's got this like elephant cute print on it. And it's just plain on the back. I don't understand. You slot it in. Oh, I thought it went in the front. No, no, no. And then like you put it in there and it's like all foamy. And it's just enough protection. Like I've got my MacBook here and it just like fits in so snug. So it's... It's really foamy as well. Like. Oh, I think because I need a sleeve. Um, I think you should look. I think I will look at Etsy because they're all, there's an Amazon, they're all really gross. I know. Like graphic print things. I know. That's really, really cute. Um, I think this was £25, so it is quite expensive, but it's homemade and it's really like different and unusual. And I think it's just nice. And yeah, you can put so things in here. Well, and, isn't exactly. It? So I think you have to be careful because I just realised I've got a mark on there, but. I think that is really cute. I was going to say quickly, like I'll try and find the Etsy shop that I got it from and I'll link it in the box below so you know. And to kind of go in with that actually, I've got a technology favourite which is this, it's going to be quite hard to show. And I don't even know the name of this but um, it's Samsung. Does it say the name on it anywhere? Samsung Notebook. Yeah, I'll let Faye know to <laughs> link it below if anyone actually cares. But basically, the reason I've been loving this so much is because I've had what I called my monster for like the past five years of my life since sick form all through uni I had this huge grey thing and it used to go meh, meh, like if it got too hot and I'd be sitting in a quiet library and it'd be like meh, and everyone would just stare at me and so it was really slow like it, it was just went so down slow so anyway all in all that died and I really had to get something and this is so skinny so it's amazing travelling, I travel all the time and it's white and it was probably about half the price of a MacBook obviously I'd like a MacBook but it's a great alternative if you can't afford one um, I don't know what it is but I really <laughs> like it and just also randomly along with the geek theme I've been loving geeky things, uh, geeky films and geeky telly okay, what do you class as that then? so like um, Captain America, X-Men, okay. um, what else, Spider-Man okay, I've been loving yeah. all those kind of um, comic book films and also on telly like Game of Thrones that's geeky anyway just geeky things I think they're actually having a bit of a moment right now okay I was just going to add on to that because it's quite similar last night I went to see Godzilla and yeah that's what, another thing I was going to say oh, yeah. but um have you seen it then? no I'm really excited oh, right. to do I wanted to see it because it's got really good reviews and my main reason for really liking it is because it's got one of my favourites in Aaron Johnson and Who's Aaron Johnson? He's the guy that, um, he's in Kick Ass, but he's, he also did um, Angus Thongs like ages ago. Oh my god, the guy in Angus Thongs? Yes. I literally like fans of him so but much. In this film, oh my god, Megan, he is <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Like, he's so attractive and he's like a hero and oh my god. So if you like him or if you just like good looking guys in general and you fancy a bit of okay, action, that's a good film. Okay, that sounds really exciting. Yeah. Okay, so we are done with our non-beauty favourites. Did you enjoy doing that? I really enjoyed doing that. It was fun, yeah. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe like down below and please go and subscribe to Megan. I will link her channel and everything else in the box below and hopefully we will be filming again soon. Yeah, hopefully. And we did a lipstick oh, yes. tag as well over on my channel. So if you like lipsticks, you need to come on over and give that a watch because yes, there's definitely. lots of them. Yeah, so thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon. Hey. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. So I have got Megan here from Meg's Boutique, and um, we are going to do the. Actually, I've just put, I feel like, can I even say like a mute? <laughs> I didn't even say that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was, when I said from the boutique, I was like. <laughs> I think she just went. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll talk. Let's try again. Yeah. Last one, oh no, I've got an air bubble. And what else is really geeky on telly that I've been watching? No, new, new girls are geeky.